Hi guys, it's Bill Fields back with you today for a video training tip how to turn your open house into a cash cow. Woo! Doesn't that sound fun? How to turn your open house into a cash cow. Do you know that open houses are the most widely done and done wrong activity in the real estate business? Folks, if you're going to get anything from today's training tip, you must change your thinking. Too many agents have open houses for the wrong reasons. Do you know why we hold an open house? Are you holding your open house because you got nothing better to do? Are you holding an open house to please a seller? Or are you trying to sell the house? Why do we have open houses? If you picked any of those, folks, you're holding an open house for the wrong reason. You hold open houses for one reason and one reason only, to develop leads for people who want to buy or sell real estate. That's why we hold open houses. So stop trying to sell the house and start focusing on converting attendees into appointments. See, if you were to ask most real estate agents how they feel about open houses, they'd say they hate them. And I don't blame them. If I were doing it wrong and getting poor results, I would hate them too. See, the key is to not hate something. The key is to figure out how to make it work for you. So stop trying to sell the house and start focusing on converting these attendees into an appointment. That doesn't mean just getting their name and phone number. It means actually getting an appointment. So folks, how are we going to do that? How are we going to make this an event that we can turn into a cash cow so that our open house we feel is a good use of our time and so that it's generating leads of people who want to buy or sell real estate? Well, the first thing you've got to understand is it takes two hours of pre-work for every hour you're going to be at the open house. Two hours pre-work for every one hour at the open house. You're going to have a three hour open house, you better plan on six hours of pre-work in order to get the results we want to get. Now folks, you've got to choose the right property. I mean, some of these open houses, I go in, I see agents sitting there, I'm thinking to myself, what are they thinking? Folks, you got to be easy to find and you got to have great curb appeal. I don't even care what it looks like so much on the inside, but I do care about what it looks like on the outside and whether or not people can actually find it. And the best homes for open houses are obviously the ones that are newest on the market. Now guys, look, make the property easy to find. Put a sign on every corner. What's up with agents trying to hold an open house with two signs? More is always better. I mean, we're trying to get traffic coming both ways. Put a name writer on every single one of your signs so they know who's holding the open house. And guys, there's nothing a matter with putting some balloons and banners and anything out there that will draw attention to the sign. Your objective is to get traffic in so that we can capture people with a need to buy or sell real estate. It's like we're trying to get people to miss us. We stick out two signs, half the times they blow down. Please, put out as many signs as you possibly can. More is always better. Folks, and don't forget, if you're going to spend two hours for every hour you're going to be there, part of that has to be in pre-selling the event to increase your traffic. So you want to hang a sign writer on the property that tells people driving by when it's going to be open. You want to get it posted on Craigslist and other websites. You want to take flyers around to the neighborhood vendors. You want to go out and you want to invite the neighbors. Folks, you have to pre-sell. And by the way, don't forget to invite people in your sphere of influence. You'd be surprised. Maybe they're not interested, but they might know somebody who is. And of course, use your social networking sites to drive traffic. Post it on Facebook. Send an email to the people in LinkedIn. Do what you need to do to drive traffic to get people there. 
And folks, no. part of this preparation time that you're going to spend two hours for every one hour you're going to be there, part of that time is going to be spent doing what? Locating and looking at switch properties. You've got to have something that you can switch people to. You've got to know where the five hottest buys are in your market. See, folks, 94% of the people that come in to see your property will have no interest in it. 94%. Only 6% will have an interest. 94% will not. You must know of something you can switch them to. If all you can suggest is that they give you their contact information so that you can send them emails on properties as they become available, forget it. That's all other agents have to offer. They've already got that. You've got to know something that you can switch them to. Now guys, look, this proper preparation, this two hours, Arrive early, spend the time figuring it all out, determine the route, stage the property, determine the best features and benefits that you're going to show to people, and figure out where you're going to start and end your presentation. That's what it's going to be like, a presentation with all people who come through that door. Notice I didn't say all the buyers who come through that door, did I? I said all people. Because folks, 40% of the people who come through the door are going to have a home they need to sell before they can buy. They're not buyers, they're sellers. Now the most important thing too, by the way, get rid of any house atosis. Some homes, you've got to get rid of a smell. People come in the door before you can even start to have a discussion with them. They're headed back out the door because the property has a bad smell. So look. We're all ready, right? People come in the door, have a good greeting. Give the name to get a name. Get them to register just in case we can't get an appointment. Here's a flyer for you. Don't give them an MLS flyer. Give them a flyer that's got your picture that says, Hi, I'm Bill Fields. Thanks for coming to my open house. If you'd like to find out how easy this home would be to own, be sure and ask me. Different. Set you apart from the other agents right away. Folks. What's the question you're going to ask them? Not what brought you to my open house today, but folks, are you looking for a new home for yourself? Ask them the right question first. And then folks, please ask them, do they have a property they need to sell before they can buy? Because remember, a lot of people are out there, they're trying to figure out maybe what they could buy if they did sell or what their property is worth so they're comparing other properties in the neighborhood. So right away we want to find out two things. Are you looking for a new home for yourself or do you have a property you need to sell before you can start looking? This thought that all these people that are out there are just looky loose because they got nothing better to do, it's not true. It's that we're not doing a very good job of asking the right questions. Now once we ask them are they looking for a property for themselves, we need to find out what they're looking for. So let me ask you a few questions. Are you looking for two bedrooms, three bedrooms, four bedrooms, whatever it is, will determine whether or not I'm going to demonstrate this property or switch them to something else. Now folks, how do you measure the success of your open house? Not based on whether or not you pleased the seller or a lot of people came. It's on whether or not you developed good leads. So if you develop good leads, you must have a great plan for following up. So within 24 hours, every single person who walked in that door, you're staying in touch with to find out how you can help them, whether it's to sell a home or to find a new one. Now that's all the time we got for today, but watch your email for our next top producer training video. I'm going to discuss with you how to build a no cold calling based prospecting plan to quadruple your business. So don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, information without implementation is worthless, so make sure you take these ideas today and put them into practice. This is Bill Fields wishing you lots of continued success, and I'll see you soon for my next free training video tip.